Today's episode, things short people need to do to become a better player. First of all, they have to have better footwork laterally to cover balls left and right, whereas a tall person can stand and reach with one step. The second thing is judging the ball earlier. Where is it going to be? What are they going to do with it? What are their intents? What have they done before? Reading their paddle a little quicker so that you see what's coming. Also, at the net, shorter people have to perfect balls up here that are going to be in with top spin up here. So they have to strengthen their lats and get this going, this going. Because balls up here on a taller person are right in their wheelhouse, right here. Back here, it's more powerful here. If it's up here, guess what? probably going out. But here on a shorter person, it's more control. So being aware of the height difference, perfecting this shot, and also the mobility to move laterally, left and right. Here we go. If I have to perfect stuff up here, now I might move back to here in order to get it more in my strength zone right here. Here we go. scenario. I've just hit a softball up a little higher than I like. I see my partner Rachel beginning to wind up to blast it. I'm going to back up off the line, get lower and get set to hopefully I can either fight that fight or block the fight. I have a choice in the matter. I'm going to choose to block the fight, drop it, and then try to close in again. So that's the scenario I'm describing right here. Okay, so, so it's here. I set the ball up. I see her taking the, and I block, and I come in again. I see the wind up. going to dink and I'm going to set, set up a little higher ball, back up, lock, see where the ball is, then I went on attack. And I needed more mobility on that one. <laughs> Coming in being aware of the height difference, perfecting this shot, and also the ability to move laterally, left and right. 